Yes, Kitchen, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, you're welcome. Thank you for tuning in. If you are seeing me for the first time, yes, this is me. My name is Yano Gundari. I film about food, kitchen, and more. Anything you know, you need to know about kitchen. Yeah, that's what I discuss here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, to my old subscribers. Yes, I'm here again. Happy new month. So today I'll be telling you four major things to remove when you want to cook your coca fish. This is coca fish. I'll be grilling mine today. And basically the four things you need to remove from coca fish are the scale, the the fins, the gills and the intestine. So you can see the way I'm remo removing the scale here. I'm using my spoon and I'm starting from the tail to the head. So that's it. And you ensure the fish is not frozen. So it will be for easy removal. You can see the way I'm doing it. Very easy for me. So that's basically how to remove the scale. The next thing is you remove the fins. You all know what the fins is. You see the way I removed it in the video. So you use your knife to remove it. Yeah, I think I've done with the major things on this particular fish. So the next fish, you will see what I did there. Okay, the next fish, that's where I'm showing you. I've removed the fins already. Okay, I'm removing this one. You can see the way I removed it with I'm I'm trying to remove it with the knife. So that's basically how to do it. Carefully, you won't allow it to enjoy it because it's very, very strong. And when it injures you like that, like it's always painful. It takes like two or three days to you. So you have to be careful if you want to remove the fins of coca fish, especially because it's very, very strong. Then the next thing you do is to remove the intestine. So you lacerate this side, you lacerate it a little bit to pull out the intestines and it's very easy to do, it's not something outside this world, just to lacerate it and remove it, that's all, simple. So you can see the way I'm doing it in the video. Yes, just pull it out, yes, there's a lining beneath the intestine so you just pull it with with the intestine and it 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 should remove that's all so that's the gills that was that's what is called the gills then this gills is always strongly attached to the fish so what i normally do is that i use a knife to detach it a little bit so when i do that I can easily pull it out so i think i didn't show you where i used the knife to detach it I, I i think i didn't detach this particular one but the next one i did i used the knife to detach it and it was easy so it can also enjoy you so you have to be careful but it's not as strong as the fin so that's it basically the four major things you need to remove when you want to grill your fish when you want to boil it when you want to fry it those are the basic things you need to remove i hope you enjoyed this video it's super short and i hope you've learned one or two things in the video please i'm saying it again if you want to remove those things you have to be very very careful it can enjoy you and the pain is always like <laughs> it will take like two days for you to stop feeling the pain so i can't remember the last time i got myself in georgia but um I'm, i was obviously very young then so that's it and after that you rinse your fish you rinse it very well and you score it scoring is just cutting the fish a little bit from both sides so that by the time you are marinating it the 
all the paparazzi you want to put inside you enter the fish very well so the recipe i use for my grilled fish is um butter red pepper onion nutmeg curry thyme chicken flavor seasoning and salt so i initially i used the butter to rub the fish then i now brush the sauce on it the meat paste i mixed everything together then i brushed it on it then i kept it in the oven i think for about 40 minutes or so i didn't know the temperature my oven does not have does not regulate on temperature you just own it and so this is the outcome of my grilled fish i hope you enjoyed this video please remember to subscribe to my channel like my video and share my videos please don't just watch this video alone share it bye i'll see you in the next video ensure you share my video guys please ensure you share it like this video if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel please i want you guys to see more content this year because i'm bringing in more content by god's grace and i would want you to continue watching my videos let's subscribe to this channel let's share them to our friends because this is not the only video i want you to share so share all my videos please let's share my videos let's subscribe let's like the video let's communicate in the comment section if there are ways you grill your own fish and different from mine please tell me in the comment section bye see you in the next video